I have to reiterate the power of our Second Amendment. And why I have to reiterate that is because we sent a message loud and clear across our country and foreign nations this week by standing together. <laughs> okay, can you hear me? Okay. I'm just going to reiterate something with Pearl Harbor, and it's very, very important, because if you recall that, when the lieutenant went back to the emperor, what did he say to him when he asked to invade the mainland? He said, we couldn't invade the mainland in America because behind every blade of grass, there was a rifle. So understand it is because of each and every one of you standing here and each and every one of our Americans watching us and protecting us with our firearms why this did not turn into a Waco massacre or a Ruby Ridge. And I have to thank all of you for that. <laughs> Nevada means home, and home is Nevada. And I've called Nevada my home for 22 years. And I have four grandchildren here and two beautiful daughters and my mom. And I definitely don't want to see the federal government ever overreaching the way it did last week. As a lawmaker standing here with you and before you, we are a nation of laws and we all have to abide by our laws, especially the federal government. We can talk about a lot of things and we can talk about turtles and, and we can talk about some of the issues and excuses that they have given the public for what they have done. But I have to tell you, this isn't an isolated incident. And we have a lot of work ahead of us to make sure we keep our lands. And it's really questionable how the Bundy family can trespass on their own land. Yep. <laughs> so I'm gonna hand this mic back to who's speaking next? Stuart Rhodes. Cliven Bundy.